This is a quick tutorial on how to install the Classic UO client with Razor in Connected UO Renaissance. To get started, go down to Start and open up the File Explorer. For this example, we're going to create an empty folder on the root of the C drive called Classic UO. Now you can put this folder in any location, your desktop, another drive. To keep it simple for this tutorial, we'll just do it on the root of the C drive, Classic UO. Double click that folder, go inside, right click uh, while holding down Shift and you'll have an option that says open PowerShell window here. Click that and you'll have this blue prompt. If you didn't have that right click option, you can just go to start, open up PowerShell. You'll get typing uh, from here, type CD slash, and then CD space classic. And I hit tab here to auto complete and hit enter and you'll be in the same folder. Uh, but going back to this uh, prompt here, the, the tutorial that brought you to this video had a copy paste command that you'll need. So either get it from that tutorial or at the bottom of this video. But copy and paste that into the window, hit enter. And from here it's going to say, do you want to install Classic UO? And you're going to say yes. It also confirms the folder, it tells you a few times, so there's no surprises. So we'll hit Y for yes, uh, for uh, yes to install. Now you have two options here. One option is to install the developer preview of Classic UO on Razor. This is the one I recommend installing. It has the latest updates, bug fixes, changes. Um, but you can, if uh, the option uh, is available to you, you can install the official release, which is one that is sealed up with release notes. Um, in this case, it's, it's a bit old, so it's up to you on which one you want to go with. I recommend going with the first one. So for this tutorial, we'll hit 1 and hit Enter. I'll download Classic UO. And then Razor. They're about 10 megabytes total, I think, or roughly. You'll get a prompt here. It's going to run Classic UO for the first time so it can generate the default settings.json file. So we're going to hit OK. And then from here, it's going to ask you where do you have your UO Renaissance Ultima Online files located? If you didn't change any settings from the original install, or you have it most likely in C Ultima Online. For me, I don't. So if I were to type that, I get an error saying that I don't have it there. For me, it's in D Games UO. But for you, if you didn't change it when you did the original install, it should still be under C Ultima Online. It's going to tell you some settings that it inserted, the default uh, login port client number. If you had a shortcut on your desktop, it'll just say it found one. But if you don't have a shortcut, it'll give you the option to create one. And then from here, you can launch Classic UO by hitting Y and Enter. And it'll launch it again, but this time it'll actually come up completely. And then you'll have Razor and Classic UO, and you're all set. Good luck.